This episode of Six Five Guys is brought to you by Benchmark Barrels, world class accuracy. Defiance Machine, defying tradition with innovation. JC Steel Targets, the industry leader in quality AR500 steel targets. I'm Steve Lawrence. And I'm Ed Mobley. So Steve, I see what looks like a uh, new match rig here. It is. I mean, it certainly is capable of being a match rig. And, um, you know, I've been playing around with it a little bit. It, it's superbly accurate. I just picked this up from Sawtooth Rifles uh, about a month ago and um, have been waiting for a few things, um, particularly the mount. Wanted to get that on. Um, and then you know, run it through its its tests, and then we'll see if, um, you know, what, what we'll do from there. I might take it out to the monthly match, but, um, or I might just save it for next year. But, so, um, yeah. you know, I had uh, this new stock that's been sitting on my shelf for over a year, and I wanted to do something with it. Common first world problem, you've got <laughs> a brand new man or stock sitting around, it's yeah. like, what, what are you gonna do now, with it? Now, you guys that uh, may follow us, um, you know, we don't get a lot of free stuff. In fact, we do pay for a lot of a lot of things. Um, we're actually actually most most everything except for um, things from our partners, our sponsors that are helping us out. Now, this rig and what makes this unique is this is a build from Sawtooth Rifles. Okay, um, maybe some of you guys have heard of Sawtooth Rifles. They're here in the Pacific Northwest, um, very much into the sport, big supporters. Um, of the sport and have been involved in terms of um, match sponsorships. They actually have um, team or a team of shooters that they sponsor and have been very well known for doing excellent work. And in fact, Matt's a good buddy of ours. And um, I had this, I had parts from the 2015 match rig. So this is actually the 6.5x47 action. Uh, that was on that rifle. The barrel was pretty much shot out, so I was like, hey, why don't I, I give this work to Matt? Let's see what he can work up for me. And, and you just mentioned the uh, paying for gear. I mean, you, you paid, I paid regular, for regular price. And exactly, so, yeah. I told Matt right up front, look, dude, don't give me the fa friends and family discount. I just want to make sure that I'm totally up front with everybody that this thing was entirely paid for um, by me, so. Um, just like any other customer. So, so not, not not a paid endorsement on the part yeah, of Yeah, well, and for full disclosure, the the muzzle brake, okay, that's a test item from Area 4, 419, and that will be a separate gear update. We'll talk about that. But um, I was so happy to get this rifle and, and uh, show it off and um, have been very happy with what it could do so far. It's only been on one range outing, but... Um, you know, I can't wait to kind of get it out there, out in the field. So let's let's kind of go over the the rifle Absolutely. here. You, you, you mentioned the brake, and this was the self timing brake, which it we'll is. do another video on. Yeah. That. So Area 419 makes a uh, muzzle brake system. So this is the Hellfire from Area 419. It has an adapter, muzzle brake, and then there's a suppressor adapter that is compatible with a large variety of suppressors, including. Uh, Thunder Beast arms, and um, actually I'm mean, having it on my harvester right now. Okay. So you can swap back and forth, and that break self times, which is really cool. So we'll do we'll do a separate video on that. I notice, of course, the the scope mount here. You've got the spur uh, cantilever yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's so show that off. Look at that. In fact, that's, um, uh, that's very nice there. Yeah. Oh, you know, in fact, I just want to make sure again, in full disclosure. Um, Ed and I are actually going to be moving a lot of our rifle systems to use the spur mounts. Um, Hawk and Spur has 
um, graciously um, helped us out and is supporting what we're doing. And so, you know, big shout out and thank you to Hawk and, and Spur. He just felt sorry for Steve when we did the video <laughs> with like that cheap uh, cantilever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had the Aries, I had the Aries BTR uh, scope review we did and he messaged Ed and said, why the hell is he using that? <laughs> Right, that piece of crap. <laughs> right, exactly. And, and, and again, you know, we you know we we normally pay for stuff, and and and, and these aren't cheap at Hawken and, yeah. and through Mile High, uh, Diane and Randy there at Mile High, uh, they generously have have kitted us out. So you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, yeah. a lot of spur mounts. And but um, that that is a, you know so happy to put that in because that's um, super high end kit right here, <clears throat> and then that in that is um, sitting my. Uh, Premier Optronica uh, 5 to 25 by 56 scope, uh, really good scope. I've had this, gosh, for, for six years and it's been super dependable, has never let me down. Um, so that's what's on this rifle for right now. And, and the finish here, the, the finish on the barrel and the, and the paint job on the stock, so talk a bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, stainless steel barrel, 7.5 right hand twist um, on a deviant uh, action from Defiance Machine, and um, as far as the paint, um, this is a graphite black. So when I, I was like thinking that, about, I really yeah, like when I was thinking about the paint scheme, I wanted something a little bit muted. Um, you know, I, I could have just gone in the raw, but because the action previously was seracoded um, in tan, um, I'd have to bead blast that, and I'm like, well, uh, it's gonna look a little bit funny if it's bead blasted and then shiny silver, so let's just go ahead and, and re -seracote. So I went with this graphite yeah. black um, on, on the metal parts, and then the stock was done by Kevin Ditto, Ditto Coat, you may have heard of him, so he does some really cool paint jobs. Did a very nice, uh, very nice job on that. And, yeah. and I really like the, the bead bat, bead blasted uh, finish on the on the bolt. I mean, it just it gives it just yeah. a really nice kind of subdued look. Yeah. And then of course uh, the it's it's a Manners T2A uh, tactical elite. This is their carbon fiber stock, and um, so it's directly bedded. So it's not a chassis. It's correct. Directly bedded. Yeah. So that's I mean that's going to be very very accurate. Yep. And then I've noticed here you've got the. Uh, the rail, really, the Arca rail. Really, really right stuff. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, you know, this is a product made by Sawtooth Rifles. So, oh, really? Um, they make their own. Yeah. In fact, um, we'll do another gear update on this so you guys um, have a full idea of what Sawtooth Rifles is capable of. So, of course, like many gunsmiths nowadays, he has a, a CNC machine, um, has several programs written to produce a wide variety of the um, really right stuff compatible Arca mount rails for a number of rifles. So pretty much every um, chassis style rifle, you know, whether it be Whiskey 3, XLR, um, you know, JAE, what, what have can, you. He can do it. He can do it. He's got a rail for it that, that's a direct bolt on. This one was sort of a special one because he's just started to get into putting these onto rifle stocks. Right, and and now in the past we've talked about when you get these rails for the manners, if if the rail requires that you compromise the shell, better to send it to manners. But this looks like you're not compromising. Correct. The, the stock. Yeah, it's not actually cut into the carbon fiber. What he did is he he drilled through a few spots in the stock, and then in the the core, the foam. Right. Um, he dropped a T nut. Okay and uh, clamped it on so that so is that's, yeah that's not that's not going to cop right if, it, if anything you know he didn't cut into the carbon you've got this metal here if anything i, I think it would be accretive to the uh, right to the strength of the stock yeah and of course now you know i can move that anywhere i want that's very um, nice you know i've got right behind us um the really right stuff uh you know tripod mount so you know that that's fully compatible with this. And what sort of bottom metal are you sporting here? That is a really good question. <laughs> it's a really nice bottom metal. We'll, we'll, I, I, we'll should, put the, I should know the answer to that, but uh, yes. yeah, look, look below in the description. Um, I, I bought this a number of months ago, I forgot. It's not um, the Badger, is it? Or? No, it's not. Originally, oh, okay. I was trying to get a Seekins and they were out of stock and couldn't get okay. me one for several months, so I had to go somewhere else. Um, and then the trigger, again, is a Huber two-stage. Two so I've yeah. been yeah. running those on my rifles for a number of years and been very happy with them. So, well, Steve, you have a uh, 
a really nice uh, rig. Just can't wait to uh, see you uh, shoot this. Yeah, I've just been just superbly happy with the work that Matt and Sawtooth Rifles has done on this. And we'll try some different bullets through this, you know, the, the 105, the 110s, zero, zero 110s the, yeah. uh, the DTAC uh, yeah, the 115s. 115s. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, Steve, uh, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Well, folks, we, uh, we hope you found this uh, useful. Remember, life's an adventure. Stay on target.